introducing the Hawkeyes of Iowa. At left tackle number 72, Barry Tomasetti of Old Forge, Pennsylvania. At center number 56, Jim Hilgenberg of Iowa City. At right guard number 61, Doug Ben Scooter from Waverly, Iowa. At split end number 88, Mike Brady from Canoga Park, California. At fullback number 44, John Lazor, Tama, Iowa. At right tackle 31, Joe Hufford of Mount Vernon. The left linebacker number 85, Dean Moore of Akron, Ohio. At middle linebacker number 47, Tom Rusk of Dubuque. The right linebacker, number 43, Mike Jackson of Harvey, Illinois. Cornerback, number 19, Rod Sears of Preston, Iowa. Free safety, number 9, Dave Becker. The cornerback, number 38, Roger Steck of Perry, Iowa. And the head coach at Iowa, Bob Cummings. Well, you don't think there's spirit here. Era, this is just something looking at both of these huddles surrounding their respective coaches ready for the kickoff of this game with the Iowa Hawkeyes winning the toss. Mosley brought it out to his own 20. Fourth and 10 is Dave Holdsclaw. Hunting again with 4-11 remaining in the first quarter. A better Beautiful. One there. Into the wind, mind you. Blocking look out. He's gone. There he is. Gone. Well, you can see that coming. Cayuga Falls, Ohio. Coach Bob Cummins, a graduate of Iowa. He was a guard on the Iowa football team when they were Big Ten and Rose Bowl champions in 1956. All right. Well, imagine he weighed 173 pounds in those days. He couldn't play today. Here's his son, 18, weighs 195, number 10. Handing off quickly oh, to Mosley. Mosley, he's got a block. Now he cuts back. He may make it. He's gone. 77 yard touchdown by Dennis Mosley. Wow. Two block busting plays, Era, as we're going to have a replay. This is a sweep. He cuts it back to the inside. There are a lot of Iowa State players to the outside. Puts a good move on here. I didn't expect this kind of open field play or long run from either one of the two teams. And here in the, just in the last minute and a half of it. Wait, no, and the, on the clock, we've had two scores in 38 seconds, Sarah. Oh. Isn't that beautiful? On a second down and 10, there he is, the sophomore, native of Youngstown, Ohio, the number two tailback in fall practice, a liberal arts major. Mm. He was born in Birmingham, Alabama. But the fans in Iowa City, Iowa, are happy. Matter of fact, yesterday, um, during the practice session, Bob Cummins, the coach, had to stop practice and reprimand, I believe, uh, mostly just momentarily, and he responded well today. And unfortunately for Iowa, Dave Holdsclaw failed on the extra point. So, the Cyclones lead by one, seven to six, third and six from the 15. I wonder if they'll uh, put it up in the air here, deep in their own territory. Solomon, a speedster, the split back, 28 is to the near side of the field. The ends are in tight, the eye formation behind Rubley, the quarterback. Fumble, fumble. The Hawkeyes recover a Rubley fumble. Joe Willis covered the ball. He's the man that made the tackle. Mike Brady is number 88. Coming in motion is Mosley. And carrying the ball is Lazar, number 44, the fullback to inside the 10. All right, second and one now from the 10. Mike Brady is left. I formation. Lazar, touchdown, and Iowa lead. A great block by Mike Mayer, number 60. The offensive left guard. And Lazar goes in for the Hawkeyes. Going for two on the point after the second Iowa touchdown from a T formation. Cummings. And they fail. A fine defensive play by Tom Bosky, who has his own fan club. 
And to become a member, you got to pay a buck. And you get an autographed picture and all sorts of goodies like that. <laughs> I was just going to say, the last time I saw it. And prior to that, Doak Walker hit Bobby Lane. So I've seen it three times now. And Quinn is smothered at the 26. That was the third and 11 play. A 42-yard kick into the wind. Side wheeling it up. It's on its way. It's... It's good. This barely made it, it looks like. That is a Herculean kick, let me tell you. Barefooted, side oh, wheel, left footed. Into, into, the, into wind. the wind. <laughs> 42 yards. <laughs> It'll be a second down and 13 now with 6.15 to go in the first half. And Iowa, the underdog, leads 12 to 10. Hardy, 29. Set to the far side of the field. Hickson, the split end to the near side. Quinn. Second fumble recovery by the Hawkeyes, who are fired up for this fray today. Shanty Burks, number 49, as we look at it once more. What a game. University Hospitals and Clinics is the largest university-owned teaching hospital in the nation. Its new $18 million Roy J. Carver Pavilion will feature an emergency treatment center for airlifted patients. The university's 22,500 students enrolled in its 10 colleges come from all 99 counties in Iowa, all 50 states, and more than 70 foreign countries. Hawkeye athletic teams receive tremendous support from students, alumni, and fans throughout the state. The University of Iowa, now in its 131st year of teaching, research, and service to the people of Iowa, and the world. That's right, the University of Iowa. And we made a comment about Jan Stemmerman, the featured twirler. Take a look at that honey. More than amply filling in the freshman, Bob Cummings Jr. Another freshman, Quinn, pitching out a loose ball. possession of the ball. Iowa State retains it. That's an elusive sphere. As this game is being shown in the Chicago area, both teams are a lot of players from Chicago. Fertile recruiting grounds for many teams there, including you when you were in Notre Dame. You also look at those two lineups in there. Uh, beyond Chicago, both coaches coming from Ohio at one time or another. You'll see a lot of Ohio. Ohioans on the rosters out here. Illinois is a good football state. Michigan, Indiana, Wisconsin, the Midwest, Iowa. Great players come out of it. All right, it's third down and 14 now for Iowa State, trailing by two from their own 34. Quinn knocked down by number 92, Daryl Hobbs of Cedar Rapids, and is he happy? 6'6, 235. Fourth down and 14. There is the head coach of the University of Iowa. I've been through that scene before, Chris. I wore out more shoes on the sideline. Third and ten now. And did he pull it out of the air? An interception by a Hawkeye. It looks like number 31. Was it Joe Hufford, one of the linebackers? Well, it was difficult to see as so many Iowa players. Let's watch. Here's the replay. Wait, it's nine. I think it's Becker, isn't it? Dave Becker? Right, that it is. Dave Becker pulls it down, and the man cheering was Hufford. Third and two. Excellent secondary coverage by the Hawkeye defense. Tremendous. 49 yarder is what it needs into the wind. I don't know if he has that kind of range or not. All right, the spot for the holder, Kevin Hart 
is the 34 plus the 10 of the end zone. Here's the side wheeler. It's up. It's done its way. It's short and to the right. 44 yards. No good. And the ball will come out to the 20 with 349 remaining on the clock here. And now Iowa State trailing by two. Have the ball first down at their own 26. And Stan Hickson is in the lineup to the near side of the field. And freshman Quinn has the ball. Losing it. Still loose. And number 75, John Hardy, that big freshman. Finally brings it in after Dean Moore knocked it away. Oh, look at this crowd wow. and that team. Wow. There he is, number 75. That credit must go to Dean Moore for making it all possible. Number 85 and Hardy, number 75 from Sioux City. Financial College scoreboard coming up. And, of course, Wide World of Sports with a World Lightweight Championship fight, plus diving. Okay, going for broke is Quinn, trying to get to the sideline to Hickson. Hickson has it, but he couldn't get out of bounds. Two seconds left. One. The game is over, and the underdog has won it. 12 to 10. The battle of the Big 8 representative and the winners from the Big 10, Iowa. Final score, the University of Iowa Hawkeyes 12, Iowa State Cyclones 10. We'll be back by the narrowest of margins and the still feverish pitch here in this interstate rivalry era. Very dangerous thing, knocking down those uprights and carrying them into a crowd of people. It is dangerous. Uh, they're excited, but uh, I guess we knew from the offset it was going to be that kind of game. 12 to 10. I winning it. The executive producer of NCAA football is Rune Arledge. Today's coverage of the Iowa State-Iowa game was produced by Doug Wilson, directed by Roger Goodman, technical director Dick Siley, associate director Howard Shapiro. This is Chris Shankle along with Nara Parsigian saying so long from Kinnick Stadium in Iowa City. Our thanks to Rick Bernstein and our spotter Bill Friel.